Okay, so if you're anything like me, then you have an endless list of reasons why you love Lizzo. And it goes beyond her ability to give us countless songs that make us all feel good as hell. I do my hair. Well, it felt really great to hear that the Grammy winner was looking for dancers. I clearly did not make the cut because I would not be here right now. But you have to check out the Prime video docu-series that takes us through the search. It's called Lizzo's Watch Out for the Big Girls. If you don't fit into a certain mold that society has, has laid out for you, you're criticized, you're ostracized, you're made fun of. And these girls are on a journey to unlearning and re-educating themselves about themselves so that these girls will have the confidence to dance with me on stage at Bonnaroo. Well, this morning we are joined by two incredibly amazing women who played a huge role in the making of the series. Please give it up for award-winning documentarian director and my cousin, the ever-so-dynamic Aneka <laughs> Onwara. And also say a big hello to my other cousin, a creative director and choreographer who has worked with the who's who in the music world, the talented Tanisha Scott. <laughs> Good morning, cousin. You're welcome. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? Happy Good Friday. Morning. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. All right, so I was telling you two during the break that I, I watched a series, I laughed, I cried, I was inspired. But the documentary also reminded me that in the words of Lizzo, truth hurts. And my truth is that after seeing those dance moves, I don't have what it takes. So Tanisha, talk to us about exactly what it takes to be one of Lizzo's big girls. The first thing it takes is confidence. Okay, I don't have that. Um, experience is something that we're going to learn because unfortunately, these girls haven't been given the opportunity to express themselves. So the most important thing is to have confidence and to know what it is that you want to do. And if you want to become a professional dancer or even just a dancer for Lizzo, you have to have the chops and you have to start with confidence because there's a lot of things that entail for us to actually make it to get to the tour. Okay, I'm gonna work on my confidence then. That's Rule number one. So, Neka, although you directed the Dati series, we also get to see you on camera. And you are no stranger to shining the light on those who tend to be overlooked in society, starting with the members of the LGBTQ community, to now celebrating women of all shapes and sizes, which makes this project, I'm sure, even more special to you, doesn't it? Yes, absolutely. I feel like this project was so near and dear to my heart. Uh, big girls have been underrepresented, put into the background, and these women are powerhouses. They deserve to be in the forefront. And I really wanted to tell a story in which I could really amplify the voices, the bodies of these women. We shot in a very immersive way and we romanticized their bodies in confidence and beauty, every curve, every role, every facial expression. And it was just so empowering to work on. And that's what I focus on is giving a voice to the voiceless and making people see that this is a mainstream thing. These dancers need to be working. They need to be out there and working with Lisa, uh, Lizzo and, T and Tanisha as well on this project um, helped us like build a, tri a trio around them to help empower them and give them a voice. All right, so if anyone knows a thing or two about what it takes to be a girl, big girl, it is Lizzo. And she's also got big energy. And I met her briefly, as you see on this clip at the VMA. She touched my hand. I haven't watched it since. I'm not even joking. I'm charging people to touch my hand. Watch it. Ooh, do you see my hand and her hand touch? Oh, my God. So we'll start with you, Tanisha. What was your first meeting with Lizzo? What was your first meeting with Lizzo like, Tanisha? And, and then we'll talk to Neck about your, how you first met. Because everyone will think that when they see you guys working together, like, hmm, I wonder how they met. Our actual, our actual first time meeting was on Zoom like this because it was in the middle of the pandemic and we actually were able to break down everywhere wow. and just really own in and speak about each other's truth. Oh. I think that pandemic or this pandemic we're still in has allowed so many people to just really say and feel and know that it's okay to say and feel what is the truth and what is your truth. And one of the things that we spoke about is not being able to see you, mm -hmm. us, on a platform that allows us to know that there's a world for us and that we do belong, just like yeah. Neka just said. Like, it's, it's one thing if you see yourself and you know that there's a place where you can go to, but if you don't see yourself, then how can you feel yeah 
that empowered I mean, to know where you're going. Yep, I know. So her being one of the first, if not the first women um, to actually say this and to make it and make a difference, I want to see a difference, was so empowering. So that was our first time talking to each other. All right, Neka, what about you? What was your first time what, meeting with Lizzo? How did you two meet? Uh, we actually met through uh, Micaiah Sims uh, and Maya Coy. Uh, the, those two women powerhouses were the executive producers on the project. They brought me into this project. And when I met Lizzo, I just love Lizzo's confidence and unapologetic, like, I don't give a who what you got to say about me. And I felt like that matched, that matched my directing style in terms of just being, like, bold and showing happiness and freedom. Lizzo didn't come trying to do a sad story or like a story of like people feeling bad for these women. She wanted to empower them. And I was like, yes, let's go. This is all about confidence. This is all about being undefeated. This is all about giving your all. And that journey was so important to me. So when I met Lizzo, I was like, me and Lizzo align. We're just alike in terms of not caring and being bold. So I was like, we got to work together. And she's been like, Amazing. It's amazing what she's been doing for these young women. Oh, that's what I thought the first time I met you, Neck. I was like, we align. We're, we're, we're going <laughs> to... I thought that, too, when I met <laughs> Tanisha, too. All right, you two. <laughs> Such a pleasure. I am honored. I am super thank proud. You. I know you guys are super busy, so thank you for making time for this. I'll see you on tour, just in case. You need a big girl. September. Uh, yeah, oh, September? All right. But for now, you guys can check out Lizzo's Watch Out for the Big Girls. It's now streaming on Prime Video. You, you, you're going you're gonna to love it. I am not in it yet. I'll be in the next season. Neka, Tanisha, <laughs> such a pleasure to meet you. Check out my robot, nice. Tanisha. What do you think? <laughs> you know? Okay, she loves it. <laughs> love you, ladies. See you soon. Love you back. Bye.